Hi friends, hope you are fine. In the last video, we discussed about three stages of cell signaling. In this video, let us understand what are cell surface receptors. At the end of this discussion, you will be able to understand what are cell surface receptors, what are ion channel link receptors, enzyme link receptors and G protein coupled receptors. Let's move into the detail. Cell surface receptors are transmembrane integral proteins that interacts with ligands and initiates a cellular response. Integral proteins means that is embedded on the cell plasma membrane. First one is called ion channel linked receptor. As the name suggests, this receptor is linked to an ion channel protein that permits movements of ions across plasma membrane. Second one is the enzyme link receptor. That means this receptor is having an enzymatic domain or it is having intrinsic enzyme activity. Third one is called G protein coupled receptor. This is the receptor. This receptor is bound to a complex protein which is called as G protein. That is why this receptor is called as G protein coupled receptor. Now let us see what are ion channel linked receptors. Ion channel linked receptors are also called as ionotropic receptors. The ion channel gated receptor it is actually a pore forming membrane that permits the movement of ions across this channel. Normally, these ions cannot pass through this plasma membrane. Ions can only pass through these ion channels. First one is called ligand gated ion channels. It allows movement of ions upon binding of ligand or signaling molecules. Let us understand this better. So these are ions that is on the extracellular side. So this is the plasma membrane and this is a ligand or signaling molecule like acetylcholine. This is the ion channel protein. On binding of this ligand like acetylcholine to this protein, this protein is activated causing the opening of this channel. And this permits the movement of ions to the inside of the cell. And this creates a change in membrane potential or change in concentration of ions across the plasma membrane that triggers cellular response. Upon detachment of this ligand, this channel is closed. So ligand gated ion channels are simply ion channels that allows the flow of ions through ion channel protein in response to ligand binding. And the second one is called voltage gated ion channels. Here opening and closing of ion channel is in response to changes in membrane potential. Let us see some examples. So this is voltage gated channels. As you see, there is a voltage sensor that is attached to the ion channel protein. The sensor's voltage changing in voltage causes opening of this channel. These channels include sodium ion channel, calcium ion channels, chloride ion channels, then potassium ion channels. In voltage gated channels, the opening and closing of this channel is in response to change in membrane potential. Second type of receptor is called enzyme linked receptors. This is called enzyme linked as it has intrinsic enzyme activity or associated with an enzyme, usually kinase enzyme. The most common one is called receptor tyrosine kinases, RTK. It has specific phosphorylation of tyrosine residues. That is why it is called as tyrosine kinases. So this is the ligand binding domain. And this is the transmembrane domain that passes through the plasma membrane. And there is a domain, an enzymatic domain, which is tyrosine kinase domain. That is why this receptor is called enzyme link receptor. This enzymatic domain, kinase, is capable of phosphorylating tyrosine residues. So this domain adds phosphate to this tyrosine residues. ATP becomes ADP during that process. The function of kinase enzyme is addition of phosphate. So this enzyme is having an enzymatic domain or enzymatic activity. Therefore, these type of receptors are called enzyme linked receptors. We'll be discussing this tyrosine kinase receptor in detail in our next video. So this is often a dimer and this is the structure of monomer. A fully activated tyrosine kinase receptor is a dimer. 
upon lichen binding, this tyrosine kinase domain is activated and this monomer comes together and forms a dimer and this domain is activated and phosphorylates this tyrosine residues. And we'll be discussing that in the next video. And the second type of enzyme link receptor is called serine threonin kinases. Here the difference is phosphorylation occurs in the hydroxyl side chains of serine and threonine amino acids. Both are having hydroxyl groups just like tyrosine. And the third one is tyrosine kinase associated receptors. Here there is no tyrosine kinase domain. There are certain enzymes that act through cytoplasmic tyrosine kinases that is present in the cytoplasm. And the final type of receptor is called G protein coupled receptor. This is the most extensively studied receptor as it can respond to different types of signals or ligands. It represents largest family of signaling proteins targeted by 30 to 50 percent of clinically used drugs. We'll be discussing in detail about this GPCR pathway in our coming videos. So this is the receptor. As you see, it is an integral membrane protein with seven hydrophobic transmembrane helices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven hydrophobic transmembrane helices that is connected by extracellular loops, three extracellular loops, one, two, and three, and three intracellular loops. So this is called as G protein coupled receptors as this receptor is often associated with a protein complex which is called as G protein. It's a trimeric protein consisting of three subunits alpha, beta and gamma. This alpha and beta subunits have small lipid molecules that helps them to anchor to the inner layer of the plasma membrane. So this alpha subunit is bound to GDP then this receptor is in inactive state. So this receptor is in inactive state or GDP bound state is the off state. On binding of lichen to the receptor, this GDP is exchanged for GTP. Then this receptor is active or on state. As the subunits binds to either GTP or GDP, this protein subunit complex is called as G proteins. In summary, G protein coupled receptors are so called because this receptor is bound to a complex protein, a trimeric protein, which is called as G protein. Let me summarize. There are three types of cell surface receptors. First one is called ion channel linked receptor, where the receptor is linked to an ion channel that permits movement of ions across plasma membrane. Second one is called enzyme link receptor, where the receptor is bound to an enzyme or it is having an intrinsic enzyme activity. And the third one is called G protein coupled receptor, where the receptor is coupled with G protein, a trimeric protein that is bound to either GDP or GTP. If it is bound to GDP, it is in off state upon lichen binding. This GDP is exchanged for GTP, then the receptor becomes active. Hope you understand the three types of cell surface receptors. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.